Evil Dead Rise is the newest horror movie for you guys to go and check out on the big screen. I believe this is the newest one in the Evil Dead franchise. We're going to talk about it, so smash your thoughts down in the comment section below. Smash that like button, click subscribe, and let's talk about Evil Dead Rise right now. What will be, will be. Okay, so straight off the bat, I'm just going to come out and say it. I have only seen a handful of... Of episodes of Ash vs. Evil Dead. I haven't seen the original Evil Dead movies, so I'm gonna go back and rewatch them. And well, not rewatch them, watch them for the first time. So I might do a retrospective on that. We'll talk about that. But so I have no prior knowledge except for those first few episodes of Ash vs. Evil. Now, when I saw the trailers for this movie, I was really excited. It looked genuinely really good. It looked scary, it looked awesome, and I was super excited. So I went and saw it, and look, I'll tell you what, I actually really enjoyed this film quite a lot. Now, I do have issues with it. I mean, granted, you can have issues with any film, really, but I do have some major issues with this film that I think did hinder it from being an excellent film. But overall, it's actually a really decent horror, and a lot better than some of the horror movies we've been getting lately. Now... Firstly, I just want to say, this movie does take a while to get going. It really does. Like, that whole first act is all about getting to know the characters, trying to get you to care about the characters. You know, that just the general sort of storytelling style when it comes to these type of movies is trying to get you to root for certain characters and that. Now, they did do a good enough job to make me care for this family to the point where I was kind of like, wow, I really want her to live or I really want him to live which is exactly what they're trying to go for. So that worked. I do think, though, that the pacing of that first act uh, could have been, been a bit quicker. I felt like it dwelled on certain scenes that didn't need to be there. And, yeah, that's, that's an issue that I have with this film is you do feel it, even though it's not a very long film, but you do feel it at times. Now, when we get into the actual final half of the movie, I mean, it's just absolutely bonkers crazy. It really is. It's bonkers. And man, I must say the practical effects and the visual effects are absolutely awesome. This is gory as crap, man. There's just blood everywhere. There are so many scenes in this movie where I actually was like gasping because of the pain that I could feel. Obviously, we saw it in the trailer where she's got the grater along the calf muscle, man, I tell you what, I was just like, oh, the pain, I could feel that, there's the one where you see the scalp as well, oh man, that is brutal, absolutely brutal, and that's at the start of the movie as well, so again, I did, another thing I didn't like is how it started, and then how it ended, and my issue with how it started was, I'm trying to connect, how does that connect with everything here, like how does that happen, so I would have preferred if they didn't show that and they showed that later on. I feel like that could have been a bit more effective there because then it's kind of like I'm trying to figure out how they're tying this all in and when you do get to the climax of this film, you're like, okay, but now it's going to tie into that. So it kind of does ruin that ending where if you just didn't have that at the start and you do this other bit, like you do the actual movie and then you have that right at the end, then that keeps you engaged and not asking that question, how does this tie into that? That's a, that's a little little thing that I also didn't like. I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to movies like that, where they go back in time. Uh, just, I, I don't know. I just, just, it's just one of those things I don't like. But the visual effects are brilliant. The, the kills are awesome. The, oh, man, there's just so many brutal scenes. I mean, I'm all, it's awesome. It's awesome. It goes down the horror action route quite a lot. Uh, it's not very much eerie and, like, thrilling. But it is action gore. And I was just like, oh man. But just, just some of the stuff. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. You guys need to go in and see this for yourselves. It's just insane. Now, the performances are absolutely incredible. And man, they are just so good. So good. Especially Alyssa. She is absolutely superb. She's the mother and she is just, oh my god, it's awesome. She is... She just plays that so well. Like, it's crazy. Like, the way that she's able to convey as a mother at first, and then when she does get possessed, just the shift, the ability to be able to shift and change that, 
to make it creepy, but to make it also like scary at the same time is absolute testament to her because she was freaking superb. Like, ah, oh, man, that bath scene is just, oh, and that screech, man. Like, you hear it in the trailer, but when you see it on the big screen with that surround sound, that screech is deafening. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Now, the story is a pretty, you know, it's pretty generic, but what I like is it works because it's executed well. Like, you can have these basic generic stories, and it does work as long as you execute them correctly, and this movie does execute that. It's about a family. They discover something, they get possessed, and now they got to try and survive. I do like how they had some balls to kill off certain characters as well, but I really wish they went for the jugular at the end there. I felt like they could have. It was there to have that happen, and I think that would have been a bit more of an impact had that happened. But especially for the character of Beth, I think that was critical, and that could have really sold me and been like, Phew. Bam, that is an absolute fantastic ending. While I don't mind the ending, I feel like it could have been better and stronger with a particular death of a character. But Beth as a character, I really like her and her struggle that she's having internally. And now with everything that's happened with her, trying to save people and stuff like that, it's 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 great. There's some great homages to other horror movies as well. There's a scene in here that will remind you of an absolute classic. There's obviously moments that remind you of the other movies throughout the Evil Dead franchise as well. And I thought that was really cool as well. So to give those little nods was awesome. But look, overall, man, I thought visual effects, practical effects, top tier, absolute top tier. It's bloody and it's gory, which I absolutely loved. I mean, I went from the trailers. It looked like that. I was going in expecting to just be absolutely grossed out and just... <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I was grossed out because there was some wacky stuff that happened in here that was just grotesque. Like, really grotesque, man. It's, it's How do I talk about it without spoiling anything? It's just insane. I also like the lore behind this. And, like, I know some of the lore with Evil Dead, but to get a bit more of this and to see it in action and the way that they showcase that on display here was absolutely fantastic as well. So overall, I really enjoyed this film quite a lot. I think it is one of the better horror movies of the year as well, and it has been one of the better horror movies that have come out recently. I have some slight pacing issues, especially when it comes to the first act, the build-up, trying to get it on, but once it gets going, it's fast-paced, it's electrifying, it's action-packed, it's bloody, it's gory. There are scenes that are going to make you gag. There are going to be scenes that are going to make you like feel pain it's just it's it's a good film it is really good film and i really enjoyed it so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below did you love it? did you hate it smash it down there smash that like button click subscribe and i'll see you guys next video until then stay safe and peace out